there, little one? You're awake. <laughs> it's okay, sweet kitty. I'm not going to hurt you. I'm just glad you've had a bit of a sleep. Your eyes look so very, very tired. They look a bit brighter now. It's okay. You can stay in your corner, darling. Under your fluffy blanket. It's okay. I put it there for you. You're safe now, sweetheart. I just wanted to put some food and water in your room. In case you were hungry or thirsty. I don't know the last time you were able to have something. I'm just going to sit on the floor, okay? I'm going to move very gently and slowly. I really don't want to scare you. I'm not going to touch you, darling. Or force you to talk. But when you're ready to speak to me, you'll have to tell me your favourite food. So I can make sure you have it. And if you don't know, then we'll discover it together, okay? I promise, everything is okay, kitten. You're likely wondering where you are, aren't you? I know this place is full of new sounds, new smells, new voices. And I want you to know you are completely safe, okay? No one will hurt you here. No one will force you to do anything that you don't want to do. But let me explain some things, okay, kitten? It's really important that you know why you're here. <sighs> so... Earlier today, I received a phone call. A lovely, kind woman said she saw an injured Nico, chained and fenced in a garden. She told me they looked scared, hurt, and that their human captors weren't very nice to them. I had no hesitation in dropping everything and coming to get you. You were so scared, sweetheart. You didn't want to be touched. It's like you had never known love. Your old life wasn't how it's supposed to be, darling. That, the way things were for you, wasn't normal. And it certainly wasn't acceptable. Sweetheart, I want you to know it wasn't your fault, okay? You did nothing wrong to be treated the way that you were. It's not your fault. I know this is a lot to take in, sweetheart. And I promise you, those people, they don't know where you are now. They know I have you, and I made it perfectly clear why I was taking you. You're safe. They will never, ever hurt you again. No one will hurt you here. I promise. You have my word, kitten. Okay? This is your new home. My darling, this is my home, too. I take in and adopt injured or uncared-for Nikos, and we all live here, together. Happy, or at least I hope so. <laughs> I am mummy, but you don't have to call me that, my darling. Here, no one will force you to do anything that you don't want to. Your boundaries will be respected here. All my Nikos are taught the same. 
okay? I just want to make sure you're looked after, cared for. Because, my precious little kitten, you deserve it. Truly, darling, you deserve love. You can be here for as long as you want. You're not a burden. You're not a problem. Or any of those negative thoughts going through your head right now. Please let me put your mind at ease, darling. You deserve love. And you deserve to feel happy every single day. Okay? Mm. Now, this is your room. I apologise it's rather bare at the moment. But in time, we'll fit it with all your favourite things. New things, my darling. We will pick out some special bed sheets and put some pictures of your favourite things on the walls. We'll make it your space. Your special space. Where you can feel safe. Where you can just be you. And no one else is allowed in your room if you don't want them to come in. Everyone will knock first. It's really important that we all respect each other. Is that okay, darling? <sighs> My other darling Nikos all know that you're here. And they know that you need some time to settle. But they're so excited to meet you. <laughs> and I promise you, you will feel the love that you deserve to feel here. You can stay in your room for as long as you want. And in a few days, weeks, when you're ready, I'll take you to meet the other Nikos. And I can show you the rest of the house. And I'll show you my garden. I promise you, it's beautiful. In fact, if you want a sneak peek, you can look out your window and see it. There's big, lush trees for climbing. And tall flower beds for hiding. There's places to sit, to nap be quiet and just enjoy the gentle bird song and the wind through your fur and then <laughs> I have a little playground for my younger more playful Nikos they seem to like it I wonder what kind of Nico you'll be with love and care and support as you grow. You're not hissing at me, so that's a good sign. Would you like me to bring the bowls closer to you, kitten? You must be so hungry, sweet thing. Hush, hush. It's okay. It's okay. Shh. Shh. I understand. Loud, sudden noises can be scary, can't they? I'm so sorry for startling you, kitten. It's okay. Nothing will hurt you. Here, let me put some of the food on my hand. And see how I'm slowly holding it out to you? My hand isn't going to hurt you. No hand should ever hurt you. You're a good boy. That's it. <laughs> There's that cute little nose. Have a little sniff. Good boy. Well done. That's it. Oh, I'm so proud of you. Well done. I know coming after your blanket. Your safe space was scary, but you did so well. You 
would you like some food? No? That's okay. It's here if you need it. Well done for trying. Good boy. Would it be okay if I gave you some pets, sweet one? You don't seem to be so afraid of my hand now. But only if you're ready. Just nod or shake your head. You don't need to speak. You would. Oh, good boy. You're being very brave. That's it. Oh, good boy. Oh, darling. Well done, sweetheart. Your fur is so soft. Oh, well done. Oh, and I can hear your happy purr. You must know you're safe here. Good boy. Does it feel good when mummy rubs the back of your ears? Yeah? <laughs> I've had a lot of practice, little one. Some say my pets are the best they've ever felt. Oh, you're moving. It's okay, I can stop. Let me move my hand away. No? <laughs> you just wanted to get more comfortable, didn't you? That's okay. Good boy. That's it. You're safe now, my darling. Safe and loved. Mummy's got you. Mummy's here. It's silly, really. I've only known you a short time, but I just feel so protective of you. You're a good boy. And you're so worthy of love. Being looked after. Cared for. You deserve it, darling. I promise you. Oh, you're moving again. Oh, you want to sit on my lap? Okay, darling. Let me put my legs down. Slowly. Ah, that's it. You just settle however you feel comfortable. Oh, I love hearing your purr. It's lovely. Oh, good boy. Do you like it when I rub the back of your ears? Like this? <laughs> oh, you do have such pretty ears. You do? They're so soft, too. Good boy. Now, would it be okay if I was to stroke your back? Yeah? Okay, darling. My hand won't hurt you, remember? And if you tell me to stop, I will. Good boy. That's it. Nice. Gentle strokes. I know you have some scratches back here. So mummy will be really, really careful. I promise. Mummy never wants to hurt you. Mummy never wants you to feel sad. Good boy. That's it. You're doing amazingly, my darling. I'm so proud of you. I know it's not easy, sweetheart. Waking up in a new place. And it's so much to take in. I understand. But you're doing so well. So very, very well. Good boy. Good boy. You really are so precious. 
and I really hope you like living here with me and the other Nikos. Mm -hmm. I really do. I'll do everything I can to make sure you do. You can fall asleep on my lap, kitten, if you want to. In fact, it's okay if you do. I'll just keep stroking you. Protecting you. I won't leave you, I promise. I have nowhere else to be other than with you. You're safe, kitten. So very, very safe. And you're already so loved. You precious little kitten. You've had a big day. A lot of new feelings and emotions. And I'm so proud of you. Well done, baby. Now rest, my sweet one. Let those eyes completely close and rest.